Hey guys, we're back with a nickel hunt here. I uh, have a quarter box here full of nickels that I got from one of my banks. I um, asked them if they had any coins available, anything I could get, and she said, well, I do have a hundred bucks that someone gave me in nickels. And my first thought, of course, was, well, that's probably a box that someone hunted, and I'm just getting the rejects. So I don't know. Maybe this is a total waste of my time. Maybe this is something amazing. I don't know until we get into it. So, um... We're going to hunt through it, see what we can find. Hopefully it'll be something good. Um, I do see that a few of them have taped edges and they're different rolls, so I'm hoping at least those are different. But uh, we won't know until we get into it. So, let's get into it, see what we can find, and I'll bring you in on the first find. Okay, I did the uh, taped up ones first. I'm on the th last of the three, and I just pulled a 1947 out of Philly so at least we're not going to be totally skunked but this is only roll three and then uh, after this is the last of the taped ones and then uh, we'll get into the, the the main rolls okay this is hopefully a good sign I'm on the second roll of uh, these type of rolls and on the end was a 1954 out of Denver, it looks like. Yep, Denver. So either, either these were hunted and they just don't care about some 50s uh, coins, or these have not been hunted, so we'll see. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, we're on roll 7, and I got a 1949. Ooh. Let me look at my loop and see if there's anything there. Nope, just a Philly. Okay, 1949 out of Philly. Pretty beat up shape, but uh, it is a 40s. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, this is the very next roll, roll 8. And I see something very interesting right here. Oh, I thought it was a war nickel. It's not. It's a 1947 out of Denver. But that's a good find still. I'll take a 47 Denver all day. Okay, I'm on roll 11 and I got another Ender. 1947 out of Denver. I think that's our third 1947. I'm hoping this isn't a pattern of just seeing Enders of uh, the 40s that maybe the previous hunter didn't uh, want. I don't know. I'm still not convinced that this is hunted or not hunted but we'll see okay we're on roll 13 here and I think I have the answer now whether or not this has been hunted because we have here a 1950 if this is a D this would be a key date if this is a P it's a semi key date so either way this is a fantastic find and it's a P Man, that would have been cool if that was a D. All right, well, it is a 50D, and that is a semi-key date. I don't even recall if I found one of these or not. I know I have one, but I can't remember where I got it. I can't remember if I found it in a roll or if I bought it or if someone gave it to me or what. I can't remember. But um, it's certainly been a while since I found a 1950, so that's really cool. That is a cool, cool find. Very cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm in disbelief. This is the same rolls at 50, and I didn't see it from the edge, but I see it now. I went to pick it up, and it fell out of my hand. It went like this. Boom. We got a war nickel. We have a Philadelphia 1945. All right, there's no question in my mind that these are not hunted. That is a fantastic find. Look at that, 1950P and a 1945P in the same roll. Sweet. All right, let's keep going. Okay, I'm on roll 16, and we got a 1958 out of uh, Denver. 1958 out of Denver. All right, let's see while you're here. Let's see if there's anything else old. 64? No. Nope. All right, if I find anything else, I'll bring in. All right, another ender in the end of roll uh, 18. 
They got a 1957 out of Denver. I think that's our second 57 out of Denver. No, it's 58. There we go. All right, let's keep going. Okay, I'm on roll 19, and I already took a peek at it because it looked old, and it was a 1947, another one. Oh, out of S. Uh, out, of, out of S. Out of San Francisco. 1947S. Very cool. Man, hard to get that. Anyway, you can see it. 1947S. Very cool. I think we got PD and S now. Okay, I'm on roll 26. I didn't think it would happen, but man, I was hoping it would. We've got a buffalo. I just grabbed these four to start hunting, flipped it over, saw that buffalo, and uh, freaked out, of course. So, let's reveal the date. If there is a date on there, it's pretty worn, so it's pretty unlikely. Is that some gunk on my finger? All right, it is a Philly. Oh, I can see it barely. It looks like a 21 to me, or a 20. Let me get my loop out, and I'll uh, come back to you if I can tell what it is. Oh, it sure looks like a 20. Okay, confirmed. It is a 1920. I looked under my loop, and you can pretty clearly see the, the two and the zero. Um, let me get my scope out real quick and we'll take a peek at it. Okay, I've got the uh, buffalo nickel under the scope here and you can pretty clearly see the two right here and the zero right there. Definitely a 1920. Definitely a Philly, no question about that. That's a fantastic find. That's uh, uh, probably the second oldest Buffalo Nickel I've ever found. I know I found a, um, I, I want to say 1916 that I had to nick a date, but uh, this is definitely the oldest um, dated one that I found for sure. So that's pretty exciting. All right, let's uh, get back to the hunt. Okay, I'm on roll 41 here, and we got a 1956 out of. Denver, 1956 out of Denver, and then this looks kind of old, what's this? Oh, 91, not very old. And what about this one? 85, all right. I'll bring you in when I find something else. Okay, on that last clip I said roll 41, but I wasn't on 41. I forgot that I was looking at a half all the stuff in a quarter box, not a nickel box. So I was thinking it was a uh, five wide. Anyhow, um, this is roll 41, and we have a 1957 out of Denver, I think. Let me look at this my loop. Yep, that's a Denver for sure. A 1957 out of Denver. All right, we've got uh, just a few more rolls to go. It looks like five, six, seven, eight, and this to go. Okay, we're on roll 43 here, and we got another 1947 out of Philly. All right. Okay, tail end of roll 47, and we got a 56 out of Philly. I think that's uh, our second 56 out of Philly. Yep, sure is. No, that's a 50. 54. 56 out of Denver. Okay. Okay, we have finished hunting all those rolls, and uh, I gotta say, what a surprise. I definitely went into this thinking that they were already hunted. Uh, when some when the teller told me it was a hundred dollars exactly, I thought, okay, well, clearly someone uh, hunted them, brought in the rejects, and uh, and that's what I'm getting. But I thought, you know what, I'll take them anyway. I have tr have trouble getting boxes, getting large amounts of nickels anyway, so I thought, why not? Let's do it. And man, did that serve me right. I'm glad I did. 
So what do we end up with? We got, uh, starting with the, the 40s, we got a, two 1947s out of Philly, two 1947s out of Denver, 1947 out of San Francisco, which I forgot to look up the mintage on that. I, was, I wanted to look it up. And a 1949 out of Philly. And then we got a 1954 out of uh, Denver, a 1956 out of Philly, a 1956 out of Denver, a 1957 out of Denver, and a 1950, oh, I'm sorry, 1957 out of Philly, and 1957 out of Denver, and a 1958 out of Denver. Oh no, these are both Denvers, sorry. Two 1957s out of Denver. And then we got a 1950p key date, or semi-key date, I guess. I think it's safe to call that a key date, right? I'm not sure. But in any case, it's very low minted and uh, very difficult to find. So I am definitely happy to have find that and then just to make things better we got a war nickel 1949 i mean 49 1945 out of philly 35 percent silver awesome love finding those war nickels and then the star of the show is a 1920 out of philly buffalo nickel this is my 11th Buffalo Nickel that I've ever found. That's pretty exciting. And like I said earlier, the earliest dated one I've ever found, for sure. The next uh, earliest one was in 1923. And the youngest, or oldest overall, was a um, 1916, I believe. But anyhow, this was a great hunt. Fantastic finds. I'm really happy. This might even be one of my best hunts ever. I don't know that I've ever found a Warnickel and a Buffalo Nickel in the same hunt. But man, I'm happy to have it. So, that'll wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next Nickel Hunt.